one of the best custom rom was ancient os for redmi 7 and redmi y3 as well previously we had android 12 in ancient os but after a long time we have another update for ancient os and which is android 13 and while still the end i will share my full experience uh, using this uh, custom rom and for some days uh, this is a port not a custom room actually port room this is a port room uh, not a direct room so uh, watch for review should we upgrade or not and ancient ways always comes with huge customization and this is the home page and uh, let me show you and this is as it is a port that's why we have here the phs travel settings that means we have some fix here okay let me show you device info android 13 is here and this is the ancient os logo and boot animation is just like that i will show you the boot animation later part in this video and we have used kernel here lineage os pass and really thanks to the porter for uploading this one and this is called ancient os 7.1 version texas cake and build type which is called still and we are getting here the february 52023 which is android security update that means uh security update is a bit older then we have the system and this is uh included g apps you guys don't need to worry about g apps no need to find any kind of g apps so just download and flash uh but watch till the end if you want to flash or not it will depend on this video so don't skip we have just languages and input and there's no extra setting here and then we have safety and emergency location as usual everything is fine here and privacy security we have all the features like we have face unlock fingerprint and app lock which is perfectly working then we have the accessibility as usual i just uh, want to show you the full uh, review in short time just don't need to uh, just don't want to waste your time here by what uh, by uh, seeing that all the older features so here is the craft ancient features which we are getting just in a new ways the user interface got changed great changes here we have add-ons we guys can add here we have show big clock in qs panel if you need that one you can enable that one just like this you guys can enable that one three zero clock just use default or os 13 or something just use default okay, let me show you that and this is the big clock if you want that thing then you need to enable that one ancient ui switch and ancient ui clock style default default clock and gradient clock would uh uh, which one you need you guys can select now we have this one gradient color and of course then OS 13 clock now we have OS 13 system so huge customizations are there and a header image full with notifications a status bar style iOS KW super and a status bar height style everything is working fine here then we have the status bar as usual uh, Wi-Fi and here we have the header and border in clock everything is fine then we have mm, here the Wi-Fi signal and a status bar uh, which is called network traffic is fine working everything then we have the clock background transparent status bar clock mm, then battery percentage in miss signal wi-fi everything is just great here okay let me show you here are the things if you need to customize all these things you guys can do that then we have the themes yes we have themes dark themes and quick settings styles everything is great here this is the older user interface and we i'm using here the cyberpunk which is called quick setting style and this is the quick setting style you guys can use as uh, you want color pop if you need that then switch it okay it's changing so this is color pop okay let me enable one and this is these are the animations which perfectly working no issues and this is another problem in that custom rom 
uh, which is Bluetooth. Bluetooth is connecting and disconnecting automatically. So uh, turn that off. And you guys can customize the brightness slider as well. And here we have the uh, brightness percentage. Actually, we have some advanced feature in that custom room, but uh, we have some bugs as well. Uh, settings based layout. 11 style, 1 UI style, default 13. Okay, let me click on 1 UI. It will restart the setting. Okay, let me show you. It's changing or not. Just like the same as before. Some changes actually never get applied. And brightness control. You can select and use, use kind of things there. Customization features, whatever you say. Everything is fine in that case and brightness slider still can be changed as you then we have the we have buttons buttons all features then we have gestures power menu everything AOSP gestures then you guys can uh, change the uh, system navigation partial screenshot if you need okay double tap to check phone uh, log screen to sleep and haptic feedback hide IME button space which is uh, which is available in uh, like below your keyboard then we have a notification uh, navigation bar navigation bar style layout as usual you guys already know about that and then we have animations a uh, screen of animation Android P style animations and power menu 3d power menu animation these are the power menu animation okay let me show you that one the power menu coming like this if you uh, need that fly of course select that one now it will change so that it will come like this so these are the things actually all the features are available animations okay then we have the miscellaneous gaming space higher FPS in games and google photos unlimited storage and netflix spoofing everything is here available and uh, most importantly we have here a uh, parallel space which is working fine if you want to uh, make an application actually in dual application which is dual application here then these are the things in that case okay now let me show you the smoothness i didn't get any uh, other uh, issues like smoothness a uh, smoothness is fine no problem with that and it can keep uh, files are uh, in recent manner recent menu okay it's fine working in it will take uh, five seconds to uh, lock again so this is great thing and here we are getting MIUI camera and which is not working definitely in future it will work we'll get updates very soon so wait for that and now it's not working and even gcam is not working only google camera go is working here only google camera go is working and other is not working then we have open camera and which is also working open cam open cam is also working and then google map and this one also perfectly working google map no issues with that then another bug and which is the uh, I think this is problem with the vendor that that means uh, we are getting issues with Android uh, 13 in Redmi 7 because uh, the YouTube is getting uh, black screen after playing sometimes uh, it may be one minute it may be more than one minute it may be less than one minute so it's getting issues is black screen issues are really really uh, problematic and this is really a headache nowadays so i don't recommend you guys to use that rom but it has great kind of customizations and smoothness uh, but i don't suggest you to use that one right now and we have in recent all the applications in ram and it's perfectly working these are really 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 good but the disappointment are there and we have all the necessary customization is and send home which is the launcher so hope you guys understand the video if you like my work then do subscribe and hit the bell icon so thank you for watching